Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, you guys remember the last run I did, I blew uh, the engine. Oh, uh, I didn't actually blow it. Um, the push rod bent, one of the valve uh, rockers came off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm letting it run for a while. I'm going to end up taking the valve cover off. Sorry about the noise. You know what? Uh, a lot of people they say if I put if you put a muffler on these go karts, you'll get a lot more uh, a bit more horsepower because of the back pressure. But honestly, I love this sound, so I'm just going to leave it. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the valve cover off. I'm going to make sure that the the gap on the valves are set exactly as I set them when I put it back together and we're going to go for uh, a test run and see what this thing can do okay guys I um, I let it run for a bit and um, I checked the the valve gap and they're the same at 5 uh 0 0.005, I just say 5, it's at 5, they're both at 5, so that's a good thing. Uh, for you guys that don't know, most of you probably do, I'm just, I'm just saying this for, for people that don't know. Uh, the best way to bring this thing up, top dead center, is what I usually do is I stick, sorry, I stick something clean inside here. And then turn the engine and you can see the screwdriver is going down right but when it comes back up see that's not top dead center because the piston is all the way up but one valve is about to close and the other one is about to open right you need to do another revolution and right there when this piston comes up you see how I'm turning how I'm turning this and the valves are not moving sorry let me get a better picture here you see how the valves are not moving right there when I move this that's top dead center this other stroke that you guys are gonna do when this piston comes up so it's hard to hold the camera and show you at the same time okay this piston's right up right now, but that's not top dead center. Even though the piston is up, it's not top dead center because you see how the valves, even by me moving it a little bit, you see how the valves are moving? So you need to go with another revolution. And there you go. That's top dead center. You see how you, you move it now and the valves are not moving? That's top dead center. That's where you got to set it at. I know some guys are going to say, well, you know, um, you don't have to explain it or anything, but a lot of people out there don't know. Right? So I was, I was a mechanic for a while. And when I started as a mechanic, I used to sweep floors and then got up to where I, I am now. So. Anyway, the gap is, is correct, so I'm going to put this together and we're going to go take a, a joy ride and hope we don't hit any ladies crossing the street.
Okay, guys, I reached, I think, I saw 44. I think I actually went up to 45. It doesn't matter, 44, 45. I think that's what it went to. Um, I almost killed a squirrel. And, um, yeah, I'm happy, actually, with it. So, that's where I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave it at 44. I'm not going to do any modifications to it. Um... Like I said a little earlier, uh, some people say I could put a, a muffler on it. Back pressure, pressure will help these small engines. I don't want to put a muffler on it because I love the sound of this engine. I love the way it is. Straight pipe. And, yeah. I'm actually happy with that run. Um, AWM, I know you're at home drinking milk and eating cookies and wishing you can ban me from this. Trust me, buddy, you can't. Uh, Atzar, cheers, man. You, you've you been a, a buddy to me. David Johnson and uh, T-Man. And Custom Winder. Um, he recently commented on my videos and everything. And I've watched a couple of his videos. I'm going to watch some more of him. Cheers, man. Uh, one last thing that I'd like to say um, is I don't want anybody, I, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos, comments on my videos, and all that. Um, I don't want anybody to get offended uh, if I don't mention their names or give them a shout out. Because every once in a while I love giving a shout out to my buddies like... Atzar and uh, David Johnson, T-Man, I watch his videos and everything. I just don't want nobody else to get uh, offended if I don't mention your names on the shout out. It's just that it's hard to um, remember everybody's names and um, and try to give them shout outs and everything. Right, so every once in a while I'll, I'll pick different names and we'll give them a shout out. But I don't want anybody getting offended thinking that it's not because I don't appreciate it. I appreciate everybody watching my videos and, um, and commenting. So, anyway, I just had to say that. Cheers.